so hello guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we will going to discuss about a new framework called PyScript which has been developed by the Anaconda team and recently they have launched this so it is in the very early stage they say it's alpha version so using the PyScript uh, one can easily run the python code in the browser basically in the html page so as this this is the website of the PyScript uh, PyScript.net so it says it's a framework that allows users to create a rich python application in the browser using html interface so you can run all your python code uh, inside the browser so currently um, very uh, i think not all the libraries are included whatever libraries are supported by the pyodide project only those libraries python packages are supported by pyscript but later on more and more library will be included i think so basically uh, you can communicate between the python and javascript object also a lot of button and text box are available so you can create a very rich application uh, python application in the just in the browser so no need to download any ide or packages so it's a very uh, powerful framework it's a very early stage so we'll discuss about this how to create a very uh, your python application in the html page so first of all we'll create a html page so let me just create a folder called pyscript so it's an empty folder so i'll be using the vs code for creating a html page so let me just open any folder th that folder which we have created pyscript so first of all we will create a new new file that is called index.html you can give any name so this is a simple html page so let me just create a html tag and just let me give any name pi script so this is our html page and just i will go live this is port 5500 you can use the go live extension of this vs code so let me just go for local host 5500 so you can write index html otherwise it will automatically take index html so pi scripts okay so we are able to load the page now to include the pi script library framework in, the, in our html page what we have to do just we have to copy these two files the, uh, these two links you can download and you can include otherwise you can directly copy paste so it is hosted on the uh, on the internet one is the CSS, one is the JS file, JavaScript file. And also you can go to the project home here. It will give you the information about this. And examples are already available. You can run those examples on your HTML page. So like I said, to include the PyScript, you have to include these two uh, lines. So we have already included that. And these are the two codes such as PyScript code. So all the code which you want to include in the HTML page, you have to run in between this tag. So we'll see how to do that. So now under the body, we have to write PyScript. You have to create a tag called PyScript. And here, whatever you write, you, all the Python code, you have to write in the, inside this. So let me just write, hello. I'll just save this. So in, in between these two tags, you have to run, you have to write all the Python code. So as you can see, hello. So we are able to, so this is not a right way of doing it because if you have a very long code so including all the python code in the uh, html page will be a problem in a, uh, and in the problem will also happen so there is another way of doing it you just you can give the link of the python file you can create a new file just you have to write here src equal to and just give the uh, let me just give any name of the file test.py so this is and in the same folder i will create a new file called test.py and here i will write print whatever code i will write here let me just write anything hello py script and i'll save it so we are including this file here and we will again run this so hello pi script so like this whatever code we will run here suppose i will run a pretty simple code such as you will create a is equal to 
and let me just create a list two three and for num in a print let me just go for num and just we see if you run again this so one two three as you can see here it is printing one two three i think whether you are able to see or not zoom it one two three so like this whatever code you will run here that will be whatever code you will include of the python here and we are including here so that will be included so we can run some of the examples here such as a lot of examples are here let me go for any matplotlib so like this is the whole code suppose i copy hold this code here and i will copy paste in this so before that one thing we have to do like this libraries we have to include here inside the head section of the html page such as python environment so you can include all the packages which you want to include so pi dash env so here you can include whatever library suppose mat plotlib whatever you are using in the python code you have to write here numpy numpy and mat plotlib two we are using so like this they have also included mat plotlib or numpy so we have to include those files here so i'll just save it save this page and if we will run this page it should create a plot so as you can see now this graph has been loaded so whatever code you will run here so now we will create a pretty simple code let me just remove all this code here and we'll try to run here we will include matplotlib numpy and pandas three libraries we will see and suppose uh, you want to create any graph uh, let me just give x equal to 1 2 3 y equal to 4 five six so suppose these are the two areas and you want a two list you want to plot so just simple simple first of all we have to import the libraries let me import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and here simple as that we will do plt dot let me create a scatter plot scatter x comma y so after that just write plt so let us see what it will run otherwise you can also go for matplotlib w3 schools so you can see how to create so it will show you different kind of how you can create different kind of plots here so scatter xy so as you can see now it has plotted three points here so pretty simple so this is your data so suppose you want to import then is from data from csv file so you can simply create import uh, first of all pandas as pd so here also we have imported the pandas library that's why we are able to import and after that you, if you have any csv file let me just check i i, I will be having one states so this csv file is having 
uh, population data of so i'll just copy in the same folder so just you have to import that file you have to read that file before that also one thing we have to import so as we have to import the file so you have we have to use this also pyodide.htp import open url so we have to import like pyodide.htp open url to open any to read any file so we have to use this so now df is equal to pd dot read csv file after that open url and bracket here you can give the path of the file so it is in the same folder just i will write the name states dot csv so it is in the same folder that's why i have given the same name after that uh, for x suppose you want to uh, um, keep the state name so df just give the name of the uh, column so i know it is state name t t e underscore name and whatever column is having the value so a lot of values are there let me just plot mm. this male and female population so i will write male df so after that if i make it a bar chart let me just make a bar chart because our x is the name bar x y plt so as you can see here state name is one of the column and the lot of male female population are there so i'll just close this and just save it and let us see so as you can see now we are we are able to create a bar chart and simply if you want to create a line chart or scatter suppose you want to create a scatter chart so you just create a scatter and just change this to female or any other numerical values female so like this you can read uh, you can read any file using this uh, you have to import this then you can put any csv file you can read and you can create so everything is is in the browser as you can see so as you can see now we are able to create a scatter plot between the male and female uh, between two column male and female so like this you can create different kind of column and you can run any type of column. so it's just this is a small example also there is you can try to run this example so i will copy paste this code here and just i will include folium one more library so you can create a map also using this so all the examples you can go through here examples are given let me just run this so now as you can see running this code you can even create a map you can switch on switch off this so using folium library you can create so nothing you have to just give the json file uh, this is the real uh, you have to get the geojson file here uh, for your um, basically the for polygon data geojson file and this is the csv file which has which is having uh, all the data of field data then using the pandas it is reading the csv file then loading and after that you have to give columns only simple column the state and unemployment which are common so you can based on that it is joining so you can create a map also like this after this i will show you one more thing suppose you don't you want to run the just just like the notebook jupyter notebook you want to run uh, you can write the code and you want to execute the code code there just simply remove this there is one more tag if you go on this website uh, there is pyrepl this is the code so you can create a script in the body pi dash repl and here if you give a tag auto generate so line by line it will whenever you enter it will line by line execute the code generate equal to true so if you run this page so we are not including any python code just we are writing pyrel pi r uh, pi repl so now it will let you run the code in the page so whenever you will uh, upload this code you, you can directly type your code in the page and you can run the code and just you have to include all the libraries which whichever you want to use in that particular page
so as you can see now we are able to run anything you can write hello sorry either you have to uh, click on this play button or shift enter so it will run the code so suppose uh, simply i want to import any library you can import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import pandas as pd so if shift on so it will execute the code So it has executed is imported the boundary after that you can simply uh, import anything suppose df is equal to pd dot read csv and also before that you have to import one more uh, one more thing this one i forgot to import this because you're opening a csv file so let me just import this first and you can add this it has imported after that you can start importing your file df equal to pd dot read csv you are reading the csv file simple open url and you can open the file same file which we have opened earlier just give like this and give the name of the csv file because it's in the same folder that's why i have given i'm giving it like this x equal to you can like df you, think you can give the column name i have the column name of you can create a um, state name okay name after that you can write y equal to df let me give persons there is one more folder uh, one more uh, field called person after that you can just shift enter so yes simple we will create plt dot let me create a bar uh, this time let me create a pie chart pie and we will give the name of the field is y comma and after that i think for pie chart you have to give uh, let me just see okay you have to give the field name like uh, like a labels you can give the labels also if you want to give simple we can give the labels and labels will be the state name so we can write x after that simple plt so now if i run this code so we should be able to see the pi graph like this so here using the uh, pi wrapper you can run the code on the simple web page one by one you can run the code after that you can start uh, typing another code now suppose i copy paste this so you can simply run this you copy paste this just instead of plt show you just type plt And if you run this, you should be able to see the page like this. So using this uh, pie wrapper, you can run the code, any code here like this. So you can do more things. You can explore more of the examples which are given here, and you can create your own examples. So a lot of libraries are available. So you can use those library to run the code in the simple HTML page. So I think uh, that's it from this video. So I hope this video will help you and later on I will upload the more video of the Python. Thank you. Thanks for watching.